Today we're launching the Parker Chiropractic Hall of Fame. And so our challenge is, um, who's the inaugural inductee into this group? Remember, there can only ever be one first. So we knew this was a very important decision, one we had to think about carefully. We knew it had to be someone universally admired, someone whose contributions to the profession and to the patients we serve are monumental, and someone who we could rightly say is a builder of the profession. So we deliberated carefully before announcing this first, the only first inductee into the Parker Chiropractic Hall of Fame, and today we're going to acknowledge this person. We have a short video about him, and then I'm going to bring him up. So watch this video, and then we'll bring him up. Dr. Larry Markson, personal empowerment, practice, and business success and prosperity coach to tens of thousands of people, has devoted his professional life to helping others transform their thoughts, actions, and feelings until they're able to experience the fulfillment of their life's goals. There's a stairway to riches. It doesn't come by magic. There's no, there's no magic wand. You have to walk up the steps. And with you take one step at a time. And with some experience and skill and confidence as that rise, you take two at a time, then you start to run up the stairs. So I have the pot of gold. Why? Because I work on myself every single day. This morning when I woke up, I wasn't in particularly in a great mood. I didn't feel so good today. And I got in the shower and I said, what are you doing, you moron? And I did my affirmation out loud in the shower this morning while I was getting ready to put myself in a state that I can talk to you. I can't sell what I do not own. So right now I'm in a good mood and I'm in a prosperous mood and I'm in a generous mood and I want to give you a piece of me if I can be articulate enough to select the right words. And by the way, if you're loving me now, you're going to get more from me. If you're doubting me, you're going to get less from me. It's not my choice, it's yours. I first met Larry Markson in the mid-1980s. I was a new graduate from chiropractic college. I was starting out in my practice. And what I learned from Larry and working with his firm is the secret to success. I learned from Larry that it's not about how much money you have, it's not about luck, and it's not who you know. The secret to success in any endeavor is about relentless and ongoing personal and professional self-development. And that's what I learned from Larry Markson. Believing chiropractic to be his truest professional calling, Dr. Markson enrolled as a student at Palmer College of Chiropractic, where he graduated as valedictorian of the B.J. Palmer Memorial Class in 1961. As valedictorian, Dr. Markson received the first Palmer College of Chiropractic diploma ever issued by Palmer because it had been upgraded from being the Palmer School of Chiropractic. Now as a chiropractor, Dr. Markson had a redefined passion for life. Dr. Markson embarked on the journey that led him to where he stands today. There are many people you meet in your life who will give you advice, but there are few who are going to give you the honest, candid, authentic information that really impacts you and says, make a change. And that is Larry. One of the most touching moments I ever saw Larry do was when he took the time to talk to my son Joshua about his dream to play in the NBA. Larry taught him how to say an affirmation. Josh went home and wrote his own affirmation. And every morning and before each basketball game, he says it loudly and proudly. To see a man of Larry's national stature take time to talk to a 13-year-old boy speak so loudly of Larry's great character. He cares. So my whole life for 50 years on this stage and around the world and where I've spoken, I've made a living on five words, five words. It's all in your head. The way we think, the way we visualize, the way we dream, the action steps we decide to take, all of these things create a result that brings into our life exactly what we deserve. For the first 19 years of his career, Dr. Markson was a practicing doctor of chiropractic. His first years in practice were marked with struggles. Dr. Jim Parker taught him the Parker success principles that directly led to Dr. Markson's personal and practice growth. 
I had the honor and the privilege of working with a man who is diametrically different than I am in every single facet of our personalities and understandings, but the truth that he taught was so powerful. It took me years to understand Jim's law of attraction, that for every action is an equal and opposite reaction, so your practice is where it is right now, and your life is where it is right now, and your finances are where they are right now because of you and no one else. That was very hard for me to understand because I spent my life blaming everyone for the cause of my failure. So for the modicum of success that I have had the privilege to earn and, and feel over these years and pass on to my own children, right? I want to say thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Jim would pick out some key people he felt really supported Parker's seminars and supported him and he, and he awarded them as a Parker pal. He was very, very supportive of Jim and the Parker principles. He's still very supportive of Parker's seminars and what uh, James W. Parker created. He and Jim resonated very well with each other. After a career ending in injury, he founded Markson Management Services, a strategy-based practice management and coaching firm for chiropractors. Wanting to do more for the profession, Dr. Markson co-founded the Master's Circle, an identity-based personal coaching and seminar company that taught chiropractors and their key assistants how to expand their concepts and visions in addition to their professional expertise. Ultimately, he evolved that coaching method into what he considers to be his best and favorite venture, the Cabin Experience, which is a breaking free personal freedom retreat. His book, Talking to Yourself is Not Crazy, was published in October 2008. In 2010, Dr. Markson co-founded The Markson Connection, whose vision statement is to gather and inspire a tribe of select chiropractors, empowering them to make life-changing decisions that create lives of significance, abundant and overflowing with intention, passion, happiness, and success. I can't think of any person that deserves it more or makes me feel more honored than Larry Markson being put into the Parker Chiropractic Hall of Fame. So Larry, I couldn't be happier that you are the inaugural member of the Parker Seminar Hall of Fame. I thank you for everything and congratulations from all of us here at Parker. So. So three quick stories. Uh, first one's back in 1985. I'm a new graduate. I joined MMS. And uh, what I learned there changed my life. Not the content, not the office procedures, but the simple fact that you work on yourself. Um, it's all in your head. Times are good, you work on yourself. Times are bad, you work on yourself. Times are OK, you work on yourself. Without that learning that I got from Larry and his team, I'm not standing here. There's no doubt in my mind, sir. That's the first story. Uh, second story, fast forward, 1989. Now, if you can imagine this, Parker Seminar, Dallas, Texas, room like this, a lot of people. That was a tough time for Parker. James Parker had passed away. There had been issues with the family. There had been some leadership challenges. This was before Fab Man City came in and kind of saved the day, but it was just before then. In the middle of a seminar, the person running the seminar walked out. So this is the equivalent of Mark Mandel right now, don't think about this, walks out the door and says, I'm done with you, good luck. Can you imagine this? And this happened in 1989. Larry Markson was sitting in a seat, speaker from the, the floor, a member of the team, pal and all that. He got everyone together and said, we're gonna make this work. Larry Markson stepped up, he wasn't paid for any of this. He stepped up, no one even noticed what happened in that seminar. People who were there said, well, really, that happened? He stepped up, did it. No, no, what's in it for me, uh, no contract, no. He just made it work and then afterward helped with the transition. Third story, fast forward, February, early February 2013. I've been named to be president of Parker. Uh, I'm a higher education guy. The seminars, not so much. I call Larry, I say, Larry, I've had this great honor. I've been called to serve at Parker University and I need some help with the seminars. And thus began a one-on-one uh, -on -one interchange of phone calls and advice that got us through 
2013 with regard to the seminars, helped select our great leader of the seminars, Mark Mandel, and Larry's been working with Mark, Man with Mark ever since on an informal, all unpaid, all volunteer, working with Mark, working with the speakers, helping us craft what you're seeing here today is Mark's leadership and Larry's advice in the background. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Larry Markson. And that's why I'm, I'm really happy to announce that Larry Markson is the inaugural inductee into the Parker Chiropractic Hall of Fame. Larry, come on up and bring your family with you. Um, it's good to see you. Thank you. I'm on way here. <laughs> I got to give this to the. Oh, there he is out there. Okay. Wow. Obviously, I've known this was going to happen for a couple of months but I was ill-prepared for the emotions that are surging through me. Maybe this is atrial fibrillation. <laughs> <clears throat> I will tell you that I cannot express in adequately in words uh, how grateful I am, how appreciative I am, and how unworthy I feel right now. I'm just like you. 46 years ago, when I was struggling with life and practice and failing in practice, lying even then at 75 people a week, a friend of mine from Tucson, Arizona, now deceased but a lifelong friend, Dr. Stephen Himmelstein, called me up knowing I was struggling. In fact, so bad that I was really considering leaving the profession after growing up as a chiropractic patient, after graduating with honors at Palmer, after coming back. It was seven years in practice. I was going nowhere. And he said to me, let's go to a Parker seminar. And I said, I don't believe in any of that. That's hoodoo and magic and ridiculous and religion, and I'm not going. And then he said the magic words, be my guest, meaning he was going to foot the bill. So I came. I came skick, kicking and screaming and complaining, but I came nevertheless. And I came complaining, but inside me, really, when I look back now, I was praying for a miracle. Some, I could hear something, see something at this seminar that could change the course of this failure that I was feeling and experiencing where I feel, failed in practice and I failed in marriage and I failed financially and I failed spiritually and there was no success in my life because of the mother, father, teacher, preacher program, past programming of my childhood that did not allow any belief system that would create any kind of success in my life. It just didn't exist because I was programmed to mediocrity and failure. And so I guess the universe was listening in the form of Dr. Stephen Himmelstein who said, be my guest and let's go. So we came and right where Jack is sitting now, that's where I was sitting. On Mar the date was March 9th, 1969, 46 years ago. And then it was there that I was introduced to a little marbled mouth Texas drawl guy named Dr. James Parker, who I later discovered was going to be the person that not would only changed my practice life, but my personal life, but the intelligy, the core essence in me of how I would think, what I would believe, and how I would be able to transform myself into this person that I don't even recognize anymore, but my life goal was established at that seminar to become a, an authentic, real success and a real human being as well. Not just to make more money or to see more people, but to, to understand. And so I spent years coming here. I'm here 130, 40, 50 times. I don't remember how many times that I've been here, right? And, and I'm spending all these years trying to understand this guy on the stage who was talking about the infinite oneness. He was talking about um, 
um, spiritual connection and success philosophy and park of principles and, and practice strategies, things that were like speaking a foreign language to me. I was mired in poverty and stinking thinking and didn't know where I was. And I don't know what happened, but I was mesmerized, and I don't get mesmerized so easily. And I, I remember my jaw dropping, Jack, and I'm staring at this little guy who was antithetical to anything I would believe being a New Yorker, a tough street kid, you know, that type of thing. And, but I was bathed, I was infatuated with this message of if I can do it, you can do it. That you are capable of changing your lives and creating a practice, a life, a family, a financial wherewithal to fit your dreams and your inspirations as if you were a child again. So I came again and again, right? And that's what happened to me. And so all these years, as I've traveled around this globe and left my wonderful family and been gone and missed weddings and parties and things like that on behalf of this search of mine, how to make one man or why is one man or one woman more successful than another? Why can't we all have it all? And I have since discovered we all can have it all, but without guts and determination and audacity, none of that is for us. And so I would like to um, tell you that this has been a long journey for 20, 46 years, and that journey is now complete. But I want you to know that I've loved every second of it, the ups and the downs, the fours and the Fs, the triumphs and the humiliations that formed it. So I want, also would like to take a moment to um, thank the people behind me because they're so important in my life. They put up with me, and I'm not easy to put up with. I was gone. I had a mistress called chiropractic. Yes, you know what I'm saying? I was out there trying to soak it all in. And then, so let me introduce them, if I can, please. This guy does not belong in my family. Get out. <laughs> so I'll start over here. So this is my daughter, Dana. Dana, who's a psychotherapist. Uh, Oops, and a kiss. And lives in New Jersey with her husband, Rob, right? And uh, this is my son, as you know, Rick, who we share this profession together. Nothing better than to have a son in the same place as you are. And his beautiful and lovely wife, Robin, my daughter-in-law. And this lady here gets the beating. She's the one that I kid about. She's um, strong and tenacious, but always on my side. And what can I tell you? She's so. Life becomes good when your family is great. But the five people I live, love the most in this world are not here. My grandkids. Then they're OK. <laughs> but, but the grandkids, the, all five of them from 9 to 17, you know, that's what it's about. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. And then two more thank yous are in order. One to the Board of Trustees of uh, Parker um, University, to President Brian McCauley, and to Executive Director of Parker Professional, Mark Mandel, and one more person who's not here, up here, but should be, Dr. Fabrizio Mancini, who took this Parker thing when it was struggling, after I filled in for a couple of months, right, and really put it on the map around the world. So Fab, I don't know if you're in this room, but a shout out to you. And then lastly, I want to thank the, the members of my various organizations that put up with me. You know, the patients in practice, all the staff and teams I've had in five businesses, Marks and Management, the Master Circle, the Marks and Connection, my favorite, the Cabin Experience, all those people that had to listen to this spiel. Somehow I pray that what I learn goes through me to you and that you get the picture. This seminar is about getting you this picture. I owe my, my opening, my awakening to the essence of coming here. I ask you to share that belief system. Come again and say to another struggling chiropractor, be my guest, and bring them to Chicago, right, in June, wherever the next one is, Dallas probably, and then next year, instead of 2,500 people, let's have 5,000 again, and let's make this the, the home of chiropractic. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you can leave. <laughs> you can leave. Thank you. Thank you. You got it. Let's do a picture with him. 
the picture. We got to memorialize this. You in the middle. You in the middle. Where's the photographer? I don't know. Oh. Let's go, Vic. Is that my my good side? You got. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, Larry. Thank you. Thank you much. Okay, so now, thank you, thank you.